Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I'm going to make a wig cap. I have already made a wig cap video, how to make it custom, but it was made with tulle and I didn't talk in there and I didn't explain many things. So today I decided to make a wig cap for a lady that requested a custom made unit. It's gonna be a lace front. I'm gonna make a full lace cap of course, the back is gonna have sturdy lace, the top is gonna have normal lace and the hell is gonna have super fine lace and um, yeah I'm gonna walk you through this first of all she sent me this and this this is the head mold and this is the canvas head that she made out of a similar one now the markings that she put are not correct I don't know you can see the red marking it's not identical if this is the center you see that this and this don't seem to be quite the same as well as the ear tabs, I just put this one here, but it seems that this is much more symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to wear this over here, you can see that the markings don't fall correctly. It falls kind of correctly here, but not here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna pin it here and there, just so I can get it to be to stay in one place and doesn't move too much. I'm not going to need this on top once I'm done because it will only add a lot of volume here and I don't want it to add any volume. I want it to be as flat as possible. I'm just putting a little bit of pins here and there just to make sure that it's going to stay secure enough okay now I'm gonna take a marker and I'm going to mark the line because as far as I can see she didn't do it exactly the way that she had to do and this is also kind of approximate I really don't know if this is the right one you see I have put these ones here I'm just leaving a little bit of extra here just to be on the safe side this is the back so it doesn't matter so much to be honest with you um, I don't know about this stuff yeah <laughs> going to go ahead and remove this now see how it looks so when you make the canvas head the, the weak canvas block here it's essential to do a good job because if you don't you might make a unit that doesn't really match your head so nicely so yeah that's how it is I don't want this to start rubbing off on the wig itself so I'm going to put a little bit of tape on, on top of it transparent tape or is it just to make sure that it's gonna stay there where is my tool when I need it there it is I always keep losing my things Here as well. This is just for precaution, so the ink that I put doesn't seep into. Oh, things I can just go ahead and do. That. Better off to have it one continuous strip. I'm doing this so, as I said, I don't have any ink sipping into the lace rubbing it off I'm gonna put a little bit over here it's 
So when you want to make a custom unit, you better have a head mold, otherwise you can never be 100% sure if it's going to fit. And making this thing takes like 10 minutes or something. So, I mean the top part takes about 10 minutes. To make the styrofoam, you just put this, the polyurethane foam in there. I keep saying styrofoam, but this is polyurethane foam. You put it in there, then you leave it, and it's gonna set on itself. And everything is gonna be just fine. And you won't have any problem whatsoever. You can then create as many wigs as you want with this canvas head for the same person. Okay, I think I'm fine. So this is the canvas head. It seems to have a little bumps here and there, but I think it's gonna be just fine. So for the back, where I'm gonna have wefts, I'm gonna use this BHD lace, which is extremely strong and sturdy. And I shouldn't, I didn't, I don't need to use lace. I could use anything I want, but I'm gonna use lace because I wanna have a cap construction. I don't wanna have the adjustable straps in the back because this is elastic and I want the, the wig to fit the head correctly. So before I cut this, I'm going to measure, this is, okay, that's seven inches or 18, it's not enough. Not enough. So let me get to this side here. No, I'm gonna cut from here. I just try to, not to lose too much lace when I cut. Maybe I start cutting from here. Let's just say that it's safer to say that I'm gonna cut from here, okay? So I need, this is gonna be top to bottom and this is gonna be ear to ear. So I need, as I said, 22 centimeter approximately, which is about up to here. Let me put a pin over there. 22, let's make it 23 just to be sure. I'm gonna pin this area just to remember that this is all the, the amount that I need to do. And I said 32 from ear tab to ear tab, but I said I'm gonna put like 38. I'm gonna put like three centimeters more in each side, just to be sure. I don't need to mark this because I can cut it. And now that I have the markings correct, I'm also going to mark this, which is, as we said, it's about nine inches. This is also about, why nine inches? Oh yeah, 23, yeah. I need seven and I'm cutting more. So I need it to be like up to here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try to cut a straight line. Let me just take it in the middle so you can see. Cutting a super straight line here. Or at least I'm trying to. It's easy because I'm cutting one row of holes and I'm leaving the rest intact. Dog is barking behind. So I should have actually kept the other pin as well. Although it's pretty obvious where it should be because I have like a crease over here. So it's not that difficult for me to cut it. So let's try to cut. I'm gonna cut in the same side again. And I'm gonna cut above this crease. I can make a straight line here. I mean, I'm making a straight line, but I can't be 100% sure that it's gonna be super straight. I'm removing this, going more. Okay, so this is the piece that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put the rest back. Now, this lace was provided to me by Dave. Uh, I don't remember, Smith514 or something. 
if I remember correctly. Because <laughs> we talk in person now, I don't talk with him with his nickname, so I only know his... Oh, sorry, here's a 514. Yeah, I remember. As I said, I talk in person with him, so I don't really remember his nickname. Before I make the wig up, I really need to make some markings on the mannequin head. As you see, it's not... I don't know if you can see that. It's not a correct shape. I mean, the, the, the shape should be okay, because it's malleable like this. It can be like this, it is whatever you make, it's gonna be just fine. But I really need to mark where's the, the middle, so let's let's get this. I'm gonna use that. I'm going to put... Since these are the temples, forget about the red line. Just remember the black. This is These are the temples, so this here should be the middle, okay? So I'm gonna take this and put the tape over here. I'm gonna try to keep it sharply in the middle. I actually want this to be this side to be in the middle because this is thick. And then I'm gonna have one here. Let me just mark this. Let me just mark this because One more time, I have to make a marking. I want to see. This is the ear top, and this is above the ear. I want to see exactly above the ear where it starts, minus the ear top, of course. So this side, all the way to this side. So let's just take again the marker. things again and I'm gonna have to put some tape here to remember uh, so the the color is not gonna bleed approximately okay Move the tape again so now I can see exactly where the middle parts are being connected, kind of. And I have already measured and cut off the lace. So what I'm gonna do is try to find the middle approximately. And then pin the middle where I think it needs to fall. And mark, see that the, the lace is straight, not tilted like that or that. It has to be straight enough. And put one pin in the back, right here, in the middle. And you want to put a couple of pins around the body in order to make sure that the lace is not going to tilt itself. I want this top part, as I said, to be clean from seams. I don't want to have seams like that over here. Because, as I said, I might have to ventilate some hair here if I see that the lace that I put on top is not enough. So let's just take some more pins and start pinning what I don't want to have any seams. Okay, 
think it's gonna be low enough. All the way here. And now I'm left with this one. Now in the back, I'm gonna pin it flat. And one more over here. And then in the ear tabs, Here's what, if you want to ventilate hair, you put it like that, the lathe now goes this way. Of course it can go this way as well, but the faces, the strong parts are going this way. So you want to have the lathe going that way. So don't put it like that or like that, because then if you put it like that, for example, this is the head gonna go like this it's gonna go towards the ears forward we want this to go slightly tilted in the back like that like this way okay but of course as I said I'm gonna put wefts in the back so it's not gonna be too visible or anything like that and then I'm gonna put one more here that goes kind of vertical like that let's just Put it like this, this way. No, this needs to be a little more upwards, like this. And let's see, the seams are gonna be symmetrical. I'm gonna have a couple of seams here as well. So let's start pinning it down. I'm not going to force the seams to be somewhere that is not natural for the lace and I always tend to want to have the seams going downwards. I don't want them to be like this because then they get closer to the area of interest, which is the middle. So I'd rather have them. Let's find the peak, which should be somewhere here. You know what? I need to remove all the pins from this little can that I have here. Not this one, not this one. I want this down here, okay? So, this is one area that I'm gonna have pinch, and apparently I'm gonna need another one on the other side, because as I said, I prefer to make my caps as symmetrical as possible. Then I'm gonna put one over here. and one where the two laces connect to each other like so yeah, but I will have to remove this pin for now ok I'm gonna pin it down here And then one where the seam just starts being created. I'm not gonna cut anything for now. I'm just going to stretch this over here. I'm having a very big ass triangular here. And we will see what we're gonna do with that in a moment. As I said, I'm not cutting anything because I wanna make sure that when I use the front lace, I'm gonna have enough back lace to work with.
And of course, as you can see, this sim doesn't actually work exactly as we would think it would. So I'm gonna have to pin it one more time here. I'm gonna put here. Now I have some amazing hair store lace and I'm gonna put it on the top part and this is where I'm gonna ventilate the top piece because I want this to be both undetectable but also secure enough and I don't really wanna use 20 denier in the top part. So yeah, I'm gonna measure and see. Oh my God, look at that. What do you know? It actually fits so nicely from here to here. It actually fits so nicely. So I better, cut yeah i think this amount here is gonna be just efficient enough wait 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 i just lost there it is now i'm gonna cut this piece and then i'm gonna come back so i cut the lace and now i just put the middle right over here i'm gonna put the next middle right over in the front part as well i could make this with this lane but no i'm gonna use lace as i said as i promised the good lace and i want this to lay really flat sorry i'm gonna put this lace up to here i actually cut a little bit too much here to be honest with you and since i'm going to add from here to here a different lace i want this part of the lace to lay as flat as possible okay so let's just have a thing over here, remove this one, add it over here, then I'm going to put another pin right over here. And then I'm going to proceed again to do the same way of making
So as you see, I have finished most of the weed cap. I'm inside the black markings. This is the front that I still don't haven't put yet. I'm gonna put 20 denier lays here. Um, I have intense uh, folding and layering. The only reason that I have it so big here is because this area is gonna have wefts, so I don't really care so much. All the way here, this is BHT lace. I might have to make this part ventilated instead of wefted, just to, you know, bulky of course. And this is why I, I have this lace here, so as to be able to ventilate bulky because this is tardy lace and still not with the lace. This is BHT, sorry, this is Amazing Hair Store lace. It doesn't really look thinner than that. It is thinner, it's less dense of course, and the hair goes in these directions as well. And yeah, I have these two inevitable ugly seams that they won't be visible once the wig is done. And right now I only have to add the front lace up to here, up to here, which is going to be the denier 20 from Bamburi and Postage because it's the most undetectable. It's gonna be super fine, super nice. It's gonna take a little extra care to be worn and be used, but overall it's gonna be perfect because it's not gonna be detectable. So I'm gonna put a black blouse so you can see what I'm doing. This is the lace. It's very, it's uh, not too delicate, but it's invisible enough. I mean, you probably won't be able to tell by now, but it's quite undetectable and it's very difficult to work with, I'm telling you. But I can work with this. So what I have to do is, first of all, I have to measure how much I'm gonna need. And I'm gonna be on the safe side again. So from here I'm gonna leave an extra this amount until here extra this amount so I need all this area and for how long okay let me just mark this over here just to be sure first of all right here I just made a small cut so as to remember and this is the cut this is another cut A little bit too much but I left. This should be enough here. And I have to say that yeah, this here is enough and this here should be enough. Can you just forget about it? Okay, and this is how deep I need it to be, but I'm gonna leave a little extra more just to be sure. Okay. I'm gonna proceed in cutting this first and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm, I will do to make sure that it fits, it fits perfectly. So, let me just show you something here. I have put a, a vertical thread which goes strictly to one line. Strictly in one line, just to see that the lace is, you know, I know the direction of the, so I don't put it like tilted like that or that. Like I just know exactly how it should lay on the wig cap. So let me just remove this and come here. I'm gonna find approximately the half, so it's right over here. And I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a pin over here, but I have to make sure that I'm not gonna put only one pin because I don't want to puncture the lace. This is very fragile, it's very easy to rip, so I don't wanna have only one pin holding it because that place is gonna get all the tension. I'm gonna put a couple of them just to make sure that this is not going to rip. I'm also not stretching, I'm not stretching and then pinning, I'm just letting it rest normally and naturally and then I'm pinning it down. I'm being extra secure over here. 
okay so even if I pull it now it pulls all this area so this line is going straight to the black line a little lower than that of course and um, I wanna make sure because you know this is the hairline this is the front part if she wants to wear this without the need of glue I mean she doesn't really need to stick it close to stick it to, to her skin it will cling towards her skin because I make sure that this line here is laying as flat as possible on her skin and then just to make sure that it's all lined up correctly I'm gonna see where this lace this line needs to pass from this creed that I have here this uh, band of the hair I'm gonna pin it below that because as I said I don't want to put pins in the area of interest so I'm just gonna put like here I'm gonna put another one just to be sure that I'm not gonna rip it. I don't mind ripping it back here because it's already too back but why rip it you don't need to rip that and then the other one's gonna go here so it's symmetrical it's all nice all good I'm gonna put it as back as this one again so imagine this being a wig I'm gonna just of course pin everything back then I'm gonna stitch it over here imagine that this is a wig if you wear the unit the tension is gonna be I'm gonna put elastics here or we can put glue here whatever we want you glue this part and you glue this part of the skin just you know so as to have a little bit of uh, security in the unit but you don't glue the whole unit so if you glue here and here and just pull it what you're pulling is this area so this spot here is gonna get all the tension it's gonna uh, glove towards the skin so we know that this is good all this of course if she doesn't cut it like that she needs to keep this area here this is gonna be hair but this area here which is gonna have lace and no hair at all she needs to leave it alone if she wants this effect to exist because if you have if you cut the lace exactly like this this area is gonna be kept nicely by this but this is gonna be able to flap like that you know it's gonna just get up you need to have lace in the side to keep it down and then you can flap it see it's going back but if you have a, 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 a little um, edge like that you don't have anything to keep it down it will flap eventually can't do anything about it and the only thing you can actually do is to just glue it down and be sure that's not gonna go anywhere so this place here is gonna be just fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to proceed in putting a few more pins everywhere just to make sure that it's correctly uh, it's not gonna, I mean I'm not gonna pull this and then get it offset so and then I'm gonna proceed to stitching it down and then the wake up is gonna be ready finally So I just took the the wig cap out of the canvas head and I have just added uh, a line in the middle where I have these little lines over here so as to remember exactly where it gets and also I have put some thread in the hairline so I can very easily pin it back. Now before I call this a wrap and a, a wig cap who is ready to be ventilated and have the wefts in the back. I need to do one more thing and I'm gonna do this one more thing uh, because I'm perfectionist and I really want to be able to make uh, the wig stand so nicely it's about the, the ear tabs now the front part she will not cut it all the way here of course it's gonna leave a little bit of lace at least this amount of lace so that means that this is not gonna flap up as I said but the ear tabs will eventually have this crease over here, the cap, because it's gonna be the ear, she can't really have that. So this area here is gonna flap the same way that this thing flaps over here. So I have to do something about that. And let me just see, if, is this kind of symmetrical? You can see that the wig cap is almost symmetrical. It's not 100%. The hairline is symmetrical. If I put the lines, they get together 
this is something that I really want for my units, for my caps. I want everything to be as symmetrical as possible. It's not 100%, but you get the point. It's not like it's not one here and one there. So it's kind of symmetrical enough for me. It works well. So yeah, I'm gonna proceed with uh, doing what I want for the ear taps and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. So, I don't know, <clears throat> I'm whispering because people are sleeping in the house right now. So, as you have seen from the inside, I have uh, stitched, let me turn it this inside out. I have put this little plastic thing, she can actually put it out if she wants to. So this is the ear tab, okay? And she can actually glue this down if she wants to. If she doesn't want to have this glued down, she can put this, where is it, inside this little glove that I have created, and then put in here the other one. So now it's, it's uh, fixed. And what this is gonna do, I also put another one in this side, of course. What this is gonna do is that it's gonna have, um, the, the ear tabs will not flap they will just cling back to her head and I'm gonna show you I don't know how visible this is gonna be now but this is the ear tab you can flip it you know not going to flap up look so even if she doesn't glue the unit it will have the ability to stay down and I'm gonna send her a couple more because you know I have a lot of these. Look at that. I have so many. And these are not wig springs because wig springs are very expensive. This is something different. So I got it from eBay. And I'm gonna send more. So now the wig cup is ready and I'm ready to ventilate and sew in the trucks as well.